cloudy world and recently we spoke about what just happened with mr beast and you know the other person that's been having a lot of allegations against them you know tyson and today we're going to be breaking down mr beast's response because he just broke down how he feels on it and this is important so today mr beast said over the last few days i've become aware of the serious allegations of ava tyson's behavior online and i am disgusted and opposed to such unacceptable acts during that time i've been focusing on hiring an independent third party to conduct a thorough investigation to ensure i have all the facts that said i've seen enough online and taken immediate action to remove ava from the company my channel and any association with mr beast i do not condone or support any of those actions i will allow the independent investigators the necessary time to conduct a comprehensive investigation and will take any further actions based on these findings so basically he's saying that yeah my homie got caught up from being a diddler i'm cooked let me figure this out and we're going to talk about that bro because a lot of people got a lot to say that response got over 40 million views 500,050 likes like he's cooking bro like that man was cooking and a lot of people had a lot to say in the comments so someone said we warned you we all warned you and you didn't listen you deserve to be canceled and that's a little heavy bro for a few reasons bro one because bro does one bad cancel out a thousand ten thousand good deeds someone said yes and nah bro i don't think that I, I feel like one bad deed of course can be really bad but it's always depends and context bro bad could be stealing some bread when you have no money and you're starving bad could be literally grabbing some clothes when you have nothing next to nothing to live for bad things of course but nothing that someone's life will be taken over nothing where someone's uh, will be affected for their entire life will deal with traumatic experiences or any you know serious thing and when I'm seeing people be like, you deserve to be canceled, I'm like, bro, for real, dog, that's a little OD, bro. Especially with, he just literally gave back, what, 100 houses, bro, in Jamaica? He's been giving back and doing stuff way beyond just, oh, if my friend was going to get caught up, let me get ahead of this. Like, this dude's been doing good things, man. People said someone else, you did what's best. Thanks, Mr. Beast. Now, back to improving the world one video at a time. Now, someone else said, perfect, man. Now... This is frustrating, bro. Someone said he targeted videos at youngins then protected a predator in his midst. No thanks, he needs to disappear after being thoroughly investigated. That is dummy strong, very, very, very strong right there, bro. That's crazy, dog. That's very crazy. Especially coming from a PFP with the American flag, bro. <laughs> with a certain person on it, bro. I'ma just let it be with that, but yeah. Now, of course, I feel for anyone going through this situation, bro, and it shouldn't be a laugh and a joke and matter in general with what is really being affected. But I do think that we need to acknowledge and speak on that how much of this can we truly and genuinely blame Mr. Beast on? And I really want to know about that in the comments from y'all's perspective. How much do you really think Mr. Beast and what they've gone through can be pushed on? What do you all think about that? How do you think that when, you know, those things are pushed to that severe extent, like what would be the limit from this is their fault and this is your fault it's not as if we have proof that this man knew about it for years and just let it be it seems as if when his friend went through their you know we awakening he just respectfully just let them deal with they, what they've dealt with and you know let them do their thing and it's sad that someone would break someone like mr beast trust where they're trying to build something like this man's building a multi-million dollar empire bro like he's trying to feed people's families for generations he's trying to feed you know people who are in the struggle he's trying to do big things with the funds and the position that he's been put into and it's something admirable about that because how many pewdiepies mr t series how many other huge youtubers that are making similar to those money how many of them have just sat by and said it's not my my job and it's not your job and especially in the youtube space i want to make that clear that it is not a content creator's job to save the world that is what politicians that is what bureaus that's what nonprofits. that is what people that do their job and responsibility are supposed to be doing but we don't live in a perfect world we live in a world where people are given multiple millions of dollars and they're not using it the way they're supposed to be. And I feel like that's something that we need to give praise to Mr. Beast for. Because for everyone saying you have money, that's nothing to, you know, love for. Oh, if I had money, I'd throw it. But you don't. 
point blank period he does and he's doing it so let's appreciate it and value it because if you were in that position yeah you might not want people to you know support you and you know worship the ground you stay on but a thank you would always be appreciated with anything so when we're understanding and we look at mr beast and what's going on i feel like we need to really understand what's going on further bro because they said your friend ended up being that we all knew he was and then someone's saying how many more times does this have to happen before y'all are like okay maybe blank blanks are just blank blanks yo i ain't gonna lie bro it's a lot of heavy conversation going on on this topic because bro you can't blame one person who you know goes through their own orientation for everybody else doing something bro that's not cool one person shouldn't take the fall of that bro especially like bro i'm, I'm black dog like that type of mentality has literally affected my people for a grip so i feel like that's not really cool to really put that type of blanket statement over that but i do understand how people feel when this person ava chris tyson was a positive before 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 keyword before 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 was looked at as a positive heavy impacting person with a large following who shared things with a certain community they had a certain orientation with that community so regardless of how we feel you have to realize that someone having similar characteristics who was successful people will always find somebody you know find a way to not support but find a way to you know make them a, a example positive or negative sometimes people can be looked at and even get household names without even trying to but a part of that also comes with the pros and the cons where if you do something negative the sad reality is that there are people out there that will use that to have their own negative mentalities about your people or your culture or your orientation of people as a whole is that cool nah but it is a reality that we have to understand and so the hate that Ava's getting is definitely warranted, but the hate about those specific things in general is just OD, bro. That's not needed. We need to focus on the issue, bro. Because folks are trying to weaponize this against whatever alphabet they want to weaponize it against. But what about the youngins, bro? What about the Jits? This is supposed to be about them, right? About making sure that they're protected and loved and appreciated. Because Dr. Disrespect and, and her are the same to me. They're exactly the same. They are exactly the same, bro. Because at the end of the day, what does that mean? They both were most likely doing whatever they did with those individuals. And that's just reality. Just because we didn't catch them up with a vid and all that stuff, bro. Come on now. Do we need that? Do we really need that? Condemn both of these people, bro, and make it motion. That's just how I feel overall. Cloudy World, and let me know what y'all thinking about this, man. Let me know what y'all think about Mr. Beast's response. Was it warranted? Was it unwarranted? Cloudy World, and we gone.